Welcome to Pedalbox. It's been a while, but we're back and we're trying to make up for lost time. Yep, we've finished building our wireframe engine, so in this episode we're going to run you through the build of that, as well as the chassis extensions and the engine mounts to put it all together. So today we're using two pieces of side panel that we removed from the chassis, and we're turning them into engine mount adapters. So these are going to go here and here, and then we're going to just span across them with a piece of old gate. We're going to put a little riser in to account for the fact that it's slightly on the wonk, and then we're going to drop something down to our gearbox mount down at the back there, and then we'll have our nice three-point frame that represents the engine. And then rather than lug the engine around every time we're building something on the back of the chassis, we just get a nice little lightweight frame. So the idea that we have at the minute for the frame is fairly simple. It's not much more than a T-piece connecting the top two engine mounts with another T-piece at the bottom connecting the lower engine mount. So we're going to have a straight piece of metal coming across the whole top of the engine bay connecting the left and right with a little riser on the passenger side engine mount on the chassis leg because that's a bit lower. Then in the centre of the horizontal piece we're going to have a vertical drop down which then elbows off longitudinally backwards along the car onto the gearbox mount. So there's four pieces of metal in total Really, really nice and easy to make. Shouldn't take us too long at all. So here it is, the finished frame. And it's nice and structurally sound, so we can pull it out, swing it round, line it up on the back of the chassis, and not really worry about anything. So now we've got the base of our new surrogate engine built, we can start building the frame around it. And we actually did start with this. This represents the back of the engine, with the turbo going underneath it, and this is just a flat plane that roughly aligns with all of the ancillaries. Alright, so we've gone and now built the entire box that represents the engine and gearbox. Um, the only problem is it's, well, it's closed, and we can't actually put it over the engine and gearbox to see how it actually lines up relative to, here it is, the frame that we built. So what we need to do for all of this to be any use is we need to put our chassis mounts inside this and sort of line them up vertically and laterally and everywhere so that they actually match how the engine fits to its mounts. The only problem is we can't actually fit this around the engine anymore so we're going to have to pull it apart into two separate pieces so that we can put it over the engine and gearbox. So we're going to split it down the middle here. So we're going to have the gearbox end that we just pop over the gearbox, the engine end that we pop over the engine, and then we're going to figure things out from there. So here's our finished frame. It's changed a bit from when you last saw it, but it's still pretty much the same idea. So we've got the engine frame, we've got the gearbox here, and we've also welded it up onto the actual engine mount jig. So what we now have is one single solid piece that ties together all of our mounts, the extremities of the engine and everything. So when we transfer it onto the back of our car, we just drop it down here, it says missing, and we'll know that when we build up the mounts on here to suit our frame, that the real engine will then fit into those mounts. So seems like a success so far, I think. It's time to start welding things back into the frame. We've got these legs that we made, we cut, and they fit in quite nicely. We're going to clamp the one from this side down here temporarily so that we can weld and get this exactly parallel with here. Then we're going to cut the inside of this to flatten it across because neither of us is this thin and we need a little bit more room. So we've located this leg and we've actually done a little bit of thinking putting this in and what we've come to realise is that it's an awful lot of work kinking these legs in to make them come directly underneath. But there's also a bigger problem because on the A3 under here is not the same as under here. There's a lip on the gearbox side, which we wouldn't have if we used two box section legs. So we're actually going to have to build a pad that comes out anyway, no matter what we do. At which point we may as well mount both of these dead straight in line and fit the engine where it wants to go. I'll center it whereabout it needs to be and then extend this leg inwards to provide the support to the engine mount that it needs while still letting the gearbox sit underneath what we have as a chassis leg. So that actually took a lot longer than we thought it was going to. Uh, between the welder breaking and a few other things, it's now not even winter anymore. So as you saw, the problem that we were having was the bolt holes were going to go directly into the sidewall of this chassis leg. We've solved that now, we have notched it in as we planned, made an extra wide platform for this to sit on and now it bolts in nicely and it comes back to an 80mm flange here that we can build onto for the gearbox mount at the back. 
Yeah, it's all looking pretty good on that side. The driver side engine mount is similarly complete. It also could use a bit of tidying up and there's a few sort of minor alignment issues here and there, but we can get back to that another time. At least for the time being, we've got the engine bolted onto it properly. It's pretty solid. We can pick the chassis up by the engine now, which is neat. And we're looking pretty good. So that's where we're at. We've had the engine mounted up for real on here. We left the engine mounts in place on the chassis so that we can sort of build around them and get an idea for the shape and size of everything. But this is pretty much looking final. Uh, we've got some cosmetic finishing work to do. We've got some surface coatings on the metal here that we'd like to get rid of. We've got some manky welds and some porosity that we'd like to get rid of as well. But we're mostly looking pretty good on the engine mount side of things. The next big chapter is getting that subframe into this chassis.